Okay, so what we're going to learn today is a stone, realistic stone engraving tutorial with a bit of shadow, just so it looks kind of like a tombstone type thing. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is create a new uh, picture, so I'm just going to select the width 800 by 600, and then we want to have our foreground color as black and the background color here is gray. And then we want to go into filter, render, and then clouds. Then we want to go filter, noise, add noise. And we just want to have monochromatic ticked. And you just want to select just a sort of random amount of noise, just to depending on what sort of stony type effect you're after. So I'm just going to pick 19 for this example. Hit OK. And then we want to go into filter, texture, and texturizer. And now you can change these settings um, here to like brick and burlap and canvas, but we're going to use the sandstone one here. And then you can just play around with the scaling depending on how much depth you want there to be, and just the relief as well. So I'm just going to say 12 and 160, and then you can change the lighting direction as well from the bottom or top left. So we'll just pick the top left for this one. So 16010 top left and then I'm just gonna hit OK. And that gives us like a rough stony type surface to work on. Now next thing we want to do is um type in some text. Now you want to use the grey text for the typing. So I'm just gonna type in some text here. And then just tick that. Then I'm just gonna position that there. And then we want to go right click on that and then go into blending options. And we want to select the bevel and emboss. Change the technique to chisel hard. Direction down. And the depth, we want to sort of push it up so it gets in real deep. So probably we'll try the, we'll try the maximum for this example. We'll leave the size. It doesn't really change much when you get too high. So we'll just say 5 pixels, don't adjust the soften, and leave the rest the same, then just hit OK. Now, in order to blend it in with the background, we're just going to change the blending mode to overlay, and then that gives us that blended in look. Now, if, if, if you think that's a bit too hard to read, you can duplicate the layer by dragging it here, and then adjusting the opacity just a bit, just if you want to clear up get a clearer, sharper text there, so it's the difference, but I won't use that there. Now the next thing we want to do is add some light, so we're just going to go into, we're going to select the bottom layer and then go into filter, render, lighting effects. And you just want to select the direction up here, just so it's going from the top left. Spotlight. Um, yeah, just all the standard settings. You can move this around if you have to. But yeah, so we're going to say from the top left and then hit OK. And then what we want to do is, just to give it that sort of realistic look, we're going to add some branch shadows, so you can just take a picture of any branch, uh, select all, and go edit, copy, minimize, click back here, and then edit, paste, and then go into um, layer or image adjustments and desaturate layer just to make it black and white, and then go into edit, transform, scale and then whilst holding shift you can just drag that down over so it's nice and big and give that a tick and then we want to move this above the text layers also and then just change the blending mode to multiply now it's a bit too clear so we want to go and blur that up a bit just to give it more shadowy so we go filter blur gaussian blur and you can adjust it depending on how shadowy you want it and you can still move that around depending on the look you're after. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh hope this been a help. Thanks for watching.